Well, here's a video we haven't had to do for a while, but in order to dodge a bullet for old mate here, it is poor man's repair time. Let's get into it. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, it is poor man's repair time and uh, this is also to dodge a pretty serious bullet as well. There's also a bit of a backstory to this. We had been banging on at our landlord since late October, early November last year to get our dishwasher fixed. Now obviously with me suffering sinusitis and the other half suffering from asthma, and without the dishwasher working and all the hot weather and humid weather we've had, you do get the... Uh, the ripe conditions, shall we say, for mould to grow. And we tried to get as much water out of it as we could. Unfortunately, we couldn't get all the water out of it and it was starting to have some mould grow on it and smell something serious. And finally, the dishwasher got fixed until old mate here, in somewhat of uh, frustration in trying to get the Wi-Fi working properly, decided that the... Uh, Where things were plugged into in the layout of the kitchen needed some minor modifications and in the process may or may not have damaged the line cord running from the power plug to the back of the dishwasher. And now the dishwasher's not working again. So in order to dodge a bullet both from the landlord plus our property manager, real estate agent and the other half ripping through me because I've buggered it, we need to do a poor man's repair. And one of the most important things you need when whether you're dealing with AC or DC power to try and find an, an issue, you got an old trusty multimeter. So now I've bought a new battery for this as well. So what we're going to do is do a continuity test between active and neutral, active and ground, neutral and ground, make sure there's no shorts, and then we're going to try and find out where the problem is. Now one of the biggest problems with this dishwasher will be getting it out if I've pulled the cable out of the back of the terminal block on the back of the dishwasher. When the guy came out to actually fix the problem, we discovered the dishwasher was in there very, very, very snugly. In fact, there's a high possibility it got jammed in. Now, he had a real problem in getting it out, so you can bet your bottom dollar that old mate here is going to have just as much trouble getting it out, let alone getting it back in. So, let's head upstairs to the kitchen and see if we can't fix this problem pretty quickly. Alright, so here's the culprit, the dishwasher, it's a dishlex. Now these used to be made by Vulcan, but now they're owned all by email, so... Anyway, alright, so the first thing we want to do is continuity. Uh, I'll turn the light on so we can see. There we are there. Uh, we want that one. All right. We'll put it over here. So here's the dishwasher lead. And as you can see, it's highly likely that it's my fault because it's badly bent. But we will uh, we'll check it out. Make sure we've got. Good. Okay, so have we got a short across that? No. Nope. We're short there. No. Nope. Have we got a short between these two? Okay, so there's no short there. Now what we want to do is have we actually got a... All right. So there's no shorts here. So now we have two problems. One, either I've pulled it out. So what we're going to have to do is get a screwdriver and undo that screw and have a look in here. You can see how badly bent I've made it. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find out if the damage is inside. All right, so I've taken the top off the plug. All we want to make sure is there's no shorts between active and neutral. And there is not, which is good. All right, 
So now what we've got to work out is where is the problem? Okay. Um, I'll put the cover back on. We'll turn the dishwasher on and see whether or not it pops uh, the circuit breaker. And then we'll know where the problem is. All right. So I've turned, I've put the cover back on. We'll turn the multimeter off. And uh, then we'll plug this in and see what happens. Now, I'll know if the power goes out because of the uh, television's on. Now, I'm not going to show you what the TV's on because obviously I'll get clobbered. So, whoa, that's not good. Hmm, still not good. All right, well, let's fix that problem. Um, geez, I hope I haven't buggered this. All right, hang on a minute. Let me go and put some water in the dishwasher. We'll see if it'll drain. All right, so I've put some water in there. I'll just use this thing here. This is one way to tell how you, if your dishwasher is going to work or not. Okay. Something's gone wrong here now. It won't actually start. Oh, there we go. Oh, that took a while. Okay, so we've got a problem behind here. That button is not good. Okay, well, we're going to have to try and fix this. Um... So, part of the problem here is you can see the buttons sitting up very high because it'll push there, but it's very hard to push at the top. All right, so part of the problem is the button's in the wrong spot. Second part of the problem was something wasn't right with that power plug. Hmm. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is take these screws off, those two screws off, and those two screws off to at least get into behind here. And we'll see if we can fix this. So hang on a moment. Right, well, about half an hour later, it was too hard to try and video everything because I had to hold, you know, use two hands to do the whole damn thing. But it was a complete waste of time and effort. Absolute <laughs> Waste of time and effort. Um, the damn control box is fully sealed. It's basically that big. It goes down there, under there, up here, around there, and then straight across the top. That is the control box uh, with three plugs off the bottom. Power in, power for the pump, and then soap dispenser and rinse so we've got a button it's quite possible this is not sitting properly either but you can't do anything so i can't actually get into this so i think i'm gonna have to uh well, at least i've got it to work now that's probably a good thing at least i think i have yes i do okay so i've, I've fixed that problem but this button is a real problem so what we're going to have to do is get back onto the agent. Um, we might have to see whether or not we can order with the landlord or just order that and get it fixed. But at least now the dishwasher's working again. That worried me. I seriously thought I'd done some damage. So, as a poor man's repair piece of advice with these dishwashers, and this goes for all dishwashers, I've often fixed my own dishwashers. The first thing you really want to do is get your multimeter out. Let me turn the light on. Ah. 
is do your continuity test. All right, uh, there we are. Continuity test to find out if you've got continuity or, or short or anything like that. Um, that way you'll, you'll be able to do, diagnose where the problem is. But it looks like the whole problem with me is up here in this damn control box unit. Oh, I, they're completely sealed. Like the only thing is the output knob and the button. That That's the whole control box. You, you take this off and the whole control box comes out, but you can't actually see anything in it. It's completely um, encased in plastic, you know, and melted together. You know, the plastic's bonded. They've melted the seams together to bond the two parts of the uh, case together. So, geez, that's a pain. But there we go. So if you've got a dishwasher and it doesn't want to fire up for whatever reason, do your continuity checks on the line voltage side of it first before you start getting into into the guts. And if you've got one of these dishwashers, uh, yeah, well, it appears as though the um, problem often is within this control box. It's interesting to note with these two that the, uh, the pumps in them are actually reversible. Now, they're not uh, inverter drive or anything. They're just reversible pumps. So what's supposed to happen is, is that when they if they get jammed one way, they're supposed to sort of spring back and spin in the opposite direction, try and unclog the uh, the pump house. But there we go. All right. Well, it appears that the dishwasher's working. Stick around. Plenty more coming up throughout the day. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.